guys let's quickly revise chapter number 6 leverages with the help of our summary chart first the meaning leverage means the influence of one financial variable over another financial variable so meaning we are trying to measure what influence does a fixed cost have on the earnings that's what we mean by leverage analysis risk analysis it is hmm? there are three types of leverages operating leverage financial leverage combined leverage operating leverage measures what it measures the relationship between sales and ebit operating leverage is also known as a business risk there are three ways in which you can find out operating leverage one is contribution divided by ebit which we call it as ols yes this approach or dols approach meaning degree of operating leverage is given by percentage change of ebit divided by percentage change in sales or another approach one divided by margin of safety all right so what does operating leverage denotes if operating leverage is 2 then what it means is if sales increase by 10 percentage then ebit will increase by twice of that which is 20 percentage that is the meaning of or that is the relationship between sales and ebit which operating leverage is trying to measure next is a financial leverage financial leverage measures the relationship between ebit and eps mm. that is given by two ways to find out that one is ebit divided by ebt or percentage change in eps divided by percentage change in ebit as such financial leverage is also known as financial risk mm. last one is combined leverage combined leverage is the total risk so it measures the relationship between the topmost figure which is sales bottom most figure which is the eps so total risk this is given by operating leverage multiplied by financial leverage so if you take operating leverage ka formula and financial leverage ka formula like this will leave out you can also find out this as contribution divided by ebit hmm? all right so this is a formula for combined leverage next financial leverage is a double edged sword financial leverage means you are taking a debt on that your debt you need to pay interest so it's a double edged sword because this financial leverage meaning this debt has both some advantages as well as disadvantage which we discussed in chapter number 1 also 4 also 5 also this is a repetitive one yes so debt one advantage is it is cheaper compared to equity you get some tax advantage there is no dilution in ownership control okay that is another advantage disadvantage is the risk factor will be higher so this might create some financial distress it might if fd financial distress goes on for a long period of time your company might go into insolvency there might be some bankruptcy and non bankruptcy cost also associated with debt etc etc yes so hence we call that financial leverage as a double edged edged sword because it has both advantage and disadvantage now whether you want to know whether it's a favorable leverage or unfavorable leverage you check two things one is return on investment roi you compare it with cost of debt if roi is greater than the cost of debt we call it as favorable leverage which we applied in one of the problem other way around is unfavorable leverage roi is return on investment okay generally we take this to be ebit yes so you get you calculate return on investment through as a return on capital employed which is ebi or uh, ebit divided by capital employed hmm okay next is a trading on equity which is again a common concept which is there right from the first chapter trading on equity means what trading on equity does not mean issue, you are issuing equity shares trading on equity means you are along with equity you are issuing debt and other fixed instruments like preference shares if you are using preference shares and debt along with equity and if debt ka percentage is little bit higher compared to equity you know we call that scenario as a trading on equity meaning of that then some common pointers which is helpful for our problems how do you get contribution sales minus variable cost as contribution then break even point break even point either you can find in units or in value if you find break want to find break even points in units then it's given by the formula fixed cost divided by contribution per unit if you want break even point in value then the formula will be fixed cost divided by pv ratio and how do you calculate pv ratio contribution divided by sales into 100 and how do you calculate margin of safety that is nothing but total sales minus break even point sales divided by actual sales or total sales break even point sales is no profit or no loss zone margin of safety is a profit zone that is where you will start making profits then there is a relationship if fixed cost increases or higher the fixed cost fixed cost has a direct relationship with break even point and operating leverage if fixed cost is higher 
then the break even points in units also will be on the higher higher side and operating leverage also will be on the higher side we took a numerical example and proved this okay and however margin of safety has an inverse relationship if margin of safety increases then risk element reduces hence operating leverage also reduces hmm. then ebt you can express this again relevant for problem ebt is also given by ebit minus interest you can express that normally when they give you financial leverage okay and if they give you interest using financial leverage you can find ebit by doing the substitute hmm. and one more point problem specific adjustment we saw is whenever they give you financial leverage in the problem and ebit also you can find out whenever financial leverage is given always recalculate ebt always check recalculate ebt to see if there is any hidden interest charges okay there could be one of the problems we saw this one of the rtp problems yes this is your hidden interest wala problem specific adjustment i brought it in the chart okay so with this the chart revision of this particular topic is also complete thank you